the chief tax collector. Ron Mary, as we survey Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, this is the only place throughout the Gospels where we find that term chief added to tax collector. You know, Matthew, Jesus' disciple, was a tax collector. But it doesn't tell us he was a chief tax collector. He was chief among tax collectors, which means he was really getting rich. Really making his good money off of the backs of those who were paying their wages to the government. And according to your text, he had these disadvantages. He was short in stature. He was disliked by his community. But according to the record maker, the Bible says he sought to see Jesus as he was passed through Jericho. I love it because in spite of his disadvantages, there was yet a desire that Zacchaeus had. And his desire was not stopped based on his disadvantages. That's not where I want to hang my hat there this morning, but I could pause there very fast. Jesus outweigh any disadvantage that we have in life. Truth be told, every Sunday morning we face disadvantages that would push us to get in the tension of our desire to see Jesus. What do you mean, preacher? Every Sunday morning I choose whether or not I'm going to get up and I'm going to come to church in person. Whether I'm going to watch home on a virtual of not having enough clothes clean in spite of being tired from working all the road, in spite of feeling the pain that I feel with dealing with life and all that life has given me. Can I suggest, ladies and gentlemen, don't you ever allow your disadvantages to be a hinder on your desire to see Jesus. In spite of his disadvantages, he wished to see Jesus. Therefore, your Bible says that Zacchaeus went ahead of the crowd, climbed up into a sycamore tree because he knew Jesus was passing by. Don't miss the text. He ran before them, yeah. climbed up into a sycamore tree. Yeah. For he knew Jesus yeah. was to pass by. You see that in verse 4? And he ran before, yeah. climbed up into a sycamore tree. Yeah. For he knew Jesus yeah. was to pass on by. Yeah. Sisters and brothers, the sycamore tree seemed necessary for Zacchaeus because of his vertical limitations. But could it be that God was allowing Zacchaeus' limitations to push him into a higher space? Don't miss that this morning. He was limited, so he had to get to a different space. To the sycamore tree for us this morning, Supreme. Represents the places that are higher in our life that God is trying to get us to. And God uses what seemed to be Zacchaeus' limitation to get him up and further. He goes further and upward because of the mission. He goes further and upward.
to tree. Resulted in a few things for Zacchaeus. I would suggest this is in brothers that climbing up the tree resulted rooting in isolation. Let the church say isolation. The Bible says that Zacchaeus went ahead of them and climbed up into the tree. The implication is that he leaves the crowd. And he's now in front of the crowd. And above the crowd. He's now by himself in the tree. While everybody else is down on the ground. He's now up in the tree. While the crowds have gathered waiting on the ground to see Jesus. Pass on by. And when we It can yield in isolation. Or well, sometimes God will put you by yourself when he's trying to take you high. Sometimes God will cause you to be all alone when he's trying to take you further. Sometimes God will cause you to be all by your lonesome when he's trying to get you to go to higher heights and to deeper depths. And, and it's not to suggest that everybody whom you was with in the crowd is bad and negative and wrong and simple-minded and crazy and fickle. It's not to suggest anything about these people who are in the crowd. Could it be just as simple as that their time is up for Zacchaeus' life? And in likewise fashion, sisters and brothers, there are moments in our lives where people times are just simply up in our life. And it doesn't mean that they're wrong and they're off. It doesn't mean Tickets. 
which gives you behind the scenes and behind the stage access. You get to learn more about a person. You get to connect more to the person. See, in the crowd at the concert, you'll never be able to have the opportunity to wave and shake the person's hand like you can behind the stage. And when you're in the crowd in the midst of everybody when the concert is going on, and here it is, there are moments in life where God will pull us in isolation to give us, here it is, VIP status. Because on Sunday morning, when worship going on, everybody's waiting. And everybody's clapping. And everybody's singing. And everybody's shouting. All the money gets you by yourself. And it can be just you and your master.